Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this super duper cool French braid bracelet. Well, actually, no, this is called a frilly braid, but this looks very similar to a French braid. And here I used gold mint and pink diamond. This is the um, other side. So yeah, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it. And here are the things you will need. You will need rubber bands. I will be using emerald and pink diamond. These are limited edition bands. So they are limited. You can only get them online. So yeah, also you'll need a mini loom, some AC clip, and a hook. So get your loom, mini loom. And you want to basically get your band and you want to crisscross it like that and you push it down. Then get your next color and just put it on without crossing. And then let me just get some bands over here. There's some bands. And your other color. Like that. And you're just going to get your hook. And you're just going to hook over the very bottom bands. The band that we crossed. And yeah. Just like a regular fishtail. And then get your next color. And this time we're going to do fishtail on this side. But then we're going to do an inverted fishtail. So go inside the middle band. And grab the bottom band like that and pull it over. And yeah. So we did a inverted fishtail on this side. So we're going to keep our finger on there. Now just place your next color, and since we did the inverted on this side, we're just going to do a regular fishtail on this side. And this time we're going to do an inverted fishtail on this side. So go into the middle band and grab the bottom band, like that. So you can kind of see it forming, but it's not really forming. So we're going to get our next color. And since we did the inverted, so you guys can see it's under this band. So we're going to do a regular fishtail. Grab this and hook it over. And we're going to do an inverted on this side. So go under the middle band and it over. Sorry guys, I'm having some trouble. Okay, no. So, and grab it over. So now you can actually kind of see it forming. Give it a little pull. So, yeah. This is our next color, so you want to add it on that so you guys can see this is the inverted so fishtail on this side inverted fishtail on this side tug on it this color you want to grab this one because that one was the inverted and now we're going to do inverted on this side so basically the pattern is just alternating these, so basically you do inverted on this side, this side, and this side, and just keep on doing it over and over, like switching these sides. So this is our next color, I'm going to show you guys just a few of these, and I'm going to show you guys how to close it. So there's the inverted, so fishtail. 
and doing inverted like that. And get your next color, which is my emerald. Put it on, and since we did the inverted on this side, we're gonna do regular fishtail. And then invert it on this side. Whoops, sorry guys. Like that, and push it down so you guys can actually see it forming. Just a few more. Like that, so inverted. So fishtail. And this side will be inverted. Like that. And then emerald. Gonna do fishtail on the side. And inverted. And this side will be inverted. Well, this side will be doing fishtail. And this side will be inverted. Oh, sorry guys, um, this band, I didn't get it to go over, so, this band did not get to go a full two hooks there. Hopefully you guys didn't make the same mistake, but yeah, now we're going to be doing a inverted on this side so like that and just two more bands so that fishtail inverted this is like really easy just make sure you don't mess up which side is inverted and which side is a fishtail so yeah here is basically how it'll look. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is a little bit upset. So, yeah, here it is. And basically, you just want to make it to your wrist length. And, yeah, so I'll be back when I am finished with the entire bracelet. Okay guys, so I just finished it and it's long enough to go in right my wrist. Now you just want to get a C clip or you can use an S clip. And I'm gonna show you guys how to close the bracelet off. Just get a C clip and then basically what you want to do is just get your hook and you wanna hook these two bands over without going under any bands just right across from the top and you want to bring this band to this side like that and now you just want to get your c-clip and clip these two bands on Sorry guys, I'm gonna go down. So there, I got it onto these two bands, and you now you just wanna take it off. Like that. Give it a little tug. And get the other side. Go around and put the, the cap band on to these two. And yeah, you're now finished. You can wear it now. Bye.